We knew that our father had a very strong belief that you should follow your conscience because he had always told us that if you don't follow your conscience, we could have the Nazis. And some of his friends had been killed in World War II, and I remember him taking us to the graveyard, to their graves, and teaching us that lesson that you need to stand up your conscience. And they were also examples for how to do that. Our father had been put out of Atlantic, Iowa, a small church there, for complaining about the swimming pool, the public swimming pool that would not allow black families to swim there in 1957. And they had also gone to Mississippi in 1964. Our parents believed that you should put your faith into action. Our mm -hmm. actions with the armbands really grew out of our, our religious faith in many ways because that's how they had raised us. Don't wait for heaven. Get started right here on earth. Um, you know, being brotherly and, and understa helping understanding and making a more peaceful world. And so they had gone to Mississippi when they heard about Cheney, Schwerner, and Goodman, the three civil rights workers being murdered there in 1964. And they came home on my 12th birthday and told us kids how the house they were staying in had been shot at just because the lady that lived there was helping with the voting rights campaign for African Americans. And so they were examples. They had stood up for what they believed in, and that really had a huge effect on our lives. They were examples. It was a powerful combination of strong emotions that we felt about the war, combined with having examples of people who do something about those emotions. And, and we had other examples as well. The children in Birmingham, we saw on the news in 1963, the first time black armbands had been worn in Des Moines was for the four little girls at the 16th Street Birmingham, um, at the 16th Street Baptist Church in Birmingham when the four girls had been murdered by the Ku Klux Klan in 1963. People in Des Moines wore black armbands and we attended a service here in Des Moines for the girls and wore black armbands then also. So the idea of wearing the black armbands, the idea of grief that is there in life, but you can do something about it and you can take action. And so our parents really were examples for that.